G'day all you G'day all you mad gamers, I'm Mad Mikey and in case you didn't know I come from the bloody land down under and in today's gaming news it's very light today. Following up from yesterday's games with gold announcements over at Xbox, PlayStation has followed suit and has released its free games, PlayStation Plus titles to be exact, for August. So, July, August? Yeah, that's right, August. So we'll go into the games that you'll be getting for free. And the pool guys over in America thought that they'd pre-ordered a mini SNES, but something happened. And don't worry guys, this isn't just gaming news, it's my opinion. Mash Mikey Gaming. Welcome all you gamers out there and welcome to the Thursday's edition on this 27th day of July 2017. I'm Mad Mikey and basically what this show is, I grab all the news going around the world of gaming and I bring it here and I talk about it in depth with my opinions on this thing. So don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe and tell all your friends about Mad Mikey Gaming because they might like games. Now, in the intro, as I said, there wasn't really that much coming out today in terms of news, which generally happens around this time of year. I mean, there's not many games coming out. Long and behold, PlayStation has come through with the goods again today. Normally what PlayStation has been doing, and it, it's because it's in America, they have, they've basically been announcing their free PlayStation Plus games on the actual day of August, so or the day of the month. So you really don't know what you're getting until it comes out. But it seems now that they are following suit right after Xbox announces their games with gold, they will then announce what they're getting. And PlayStation 4 has not disappointed again this month. So you're gonna, gonna get a lot of really good titles coming out this month, guys. Uh, first up, on the PlayStation 4, you are gonna be getting Just Cause 3. That's right, Just Cause 3. I don't know how this has managed to become a free title this month. Uh, this game is such a fantastic game. It's loved by a lot of people, but yet I don't think that the sales were up there as they liked, but definitely get Just Cause 3. This is a fantastic open world game. That's right, it's another open world game, but you can destroy things, you can just make up crazy shit as you go. So it's actually a lot of fun, so definitely pick that one up. The second one, if you're not really into Assassin's Creed and just want a really small experience, they're going to be giving you Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry, which originally was a add-on for Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but then they bought it out as a standalone. You play as Adawali of uh, the Assassin's Order. He's He was a slave and he joined Edward Kenway in the original game and he was his our first matey. So this is actually a really good game. I've played through it. It's a lot of fun. It plays a lot into, because Adewale is of sort of African descent, he's really just trying to free a lot of slaves as he was freed. And the assassins are all about uh, free will and everything. So he's going out and he's going to save all those slaves. There's a few plot twists along the way, but it is definitely going to be worth it if you are an Assassin's Creed fan or you just want to go back and play it if you didn't get it as part of the season pass back in the day. But as I said, it's actually a standalone title now. Rounding that up uh, on the PlayStation 4, there's a little known game uh, called That's You. Now, That's You is a party game uh, where it, there's actually a smartphone device. You've got to take selfies and everything like that. And it's just basically, it's got, it's just a bunch of like mini questions. So it's something like uh, the Jack games where you just sort of, whoever you're playing with, they ask questions and then everybody sort of votes on who they think that would be most like. Looks like a lot of fun. Uh, so if you have a couple of friends over, you're having a couple of gold ones, you can sit back and have a little bit of fun with this game. And on the PlayStation 3 side of things, you've got the Super Mother Load and a Snake Ball. Now the Super Mother Load is, uh, it looks a lot like Bomberman from the pictures that I have seen about this game. Uh, it's one to four player co-op. Uh, it's an adventure over on Mars. It's fully voiced and everything. So it might be a bit of fun if you're still playing over on the PlayStation 3. And Snake Ball is... 
I don't know how to explain snake ball. It's just looks a bit silly to me, but again, it's free. So if you want to try it, try it out. And on the Vita side of things, you have Downwell and you have level 22. Now Downwell looks like, it actually looks like an Atari game, to be honest. It, it's obviously a, um, just a, just an indie title and it, just you go down a well and you shoot things so instead of going up like your normal old school shooters you're going down and shooting a lot of things and level 22 actually sounds really interesting so if you've got a vita i'm definitely going to be trying this out if i can make some space on that bloody thing because i've only got i think the 32 gig one and me i'm a hoarder i don't like to delete games and then re-download them because generally when i de delete them i want to play them I know, this is the life that I live, guys. But uh, this game is actually a stealth game set in a work office. So basically, you've woken up late, you're drunk, you're hungover, and this isn't obviously the first time that you've this has happened, so you have to sneak around work and get to your office. So it could be a little bit of fun. I'll definitely try that out and give you guys my impressions, but if you guys have played it, let me know what you think about it. And in a bit of sad news for the Americans today, now, over the weekend, Walmart actually accidentally put for sale the SNES Mini. Now, for some strange reason, over in the US of A, they don't do pre-orders like from way back. Here in Australia, as soon as basically something is announced, they will put it on pre-order and they will try and sell it. And basically, if they've sold out, it's tough luck. Very much like with the Mini SNES, and it's actually the same here. Uh, the Mini SNES, I think, is pretty much sold out everywhere, but there's like... you you digital sites like Catch of the Day that have announced that they're going to have uh, extra stock. And generally, there's always stock popping up everywhere. But uh, a lot of people over in America had pre-ordered that over the weekend. And it was actually apparently a glitch on Walmart's part. So they instead of sort of honoring this, which is the dumbest thing, they've actually sent them emails and said, unfortunately, due to a technical glitch, the Super Nintendo Classic Edition was mistakenly made available last Friday evening ahead of its official release date. We regrettably will have to cancel this item in your order. We know that this is incredibly disappointing to you and we're truly sorry for this mistake. As the email said, that sucks. That just flat out sucks. Because I know, like, when the when the EB Games had a lot of the mini SNESs come back in stock and I was trying to help a friend get one, you'd sort of log on and you're trying to get there and you think you're about to get it, then you go to pay and then it says, oh, the site's unreachable. And then you just, like, go back and it's not there and you haven't got it and you just, no! I feel for you guys. I really do. I don't understand what is going on with the pre-order situation in America. If you are American, please let me know or understand why you guys, they don't let you guys do this. I know that Amazon and a lot of other stores do let you do that and they are sold out at the moment. But uh, like your big stores like Walmart, EB, they don't do it for some strange reason. But guys, unfortunately, that's it for today's gaming news. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. If you do either, let me know what you liked about today's show. And if you are looking forward to any of these games, I'm definitely, definitely going to be trying out some of these PlayStation games, even though I've got them. Uh, I've, I know that I've got Just Cause 3 on the Xbox, but hey. Just chuck it in the catalogue for the PlayStation 4. That's it, guys. I'll probably see you tomorrow for the gaming hall of the shit that I'll probably never play, where I show you off all the games that I've been buying over the last couple of weeks. But until then, guys, uh, hope you have a good day gaming, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.